Hello and welcome to Easy Drupal. Today I'm going to be continuing my series on uh, migrating a Drupal 7 site to Drupal 9. Uh, you may remember in the first one we set up this local version of my website. This is so that we can connect to the database directly on another local site which will have Drupal 9 on it. So this one's Drupal 7, the other one will be Drupal 9. I did say I'd show you how to set that up in the next episode, but I've actually already done that. I had a bit of trouble with this one, got it working, did the Drupal 9 one and that went okay. Uh, so this is my Drupal 9 site. There's another video which I'll link to down below that shows you how to do that. But basically we've got a Drupal 7 and a Drupal 9 site both running off of the same uh, database server so the two can talk to each other. Different databases but the same server. Okay. So uh, let me just show you the modules that I've installed. And again, I'll put the uh, instructions down below for that so that you can go ahead and do that. So the modules that we've got are migrate JSON example. Don't think I need that one. Drupal upgrade, which gives me uh, Drush commands. We're gonna try and do it through the UI. So hopefully we won't need that. Field group migrate. I have got some fields that are in groups. So I'll try and possibly use that one, not sure. And then the three main ones, which are my great Drupal UI, my great Drupal, and my great. Those are the ones we definitely need. Okay, so once you've installed those, you can go to development, upgrade, and then you will come to this sort of splash page to start you off. So preparation steps, make sure you've got access to the database. Yes, if the old site has private files, well, we don't have any of those. Enable all modules on this new site that are enabled on the old site. Okay, so that is something I need to do now. Do not add any content to the new site, which I'm not going to do that. And then we can put the site into maintenance mode in a minute. So first of all, I've got to just make sure that all, any modules that are on the old site are also in this new site. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, all of those modules or all the ones that I want are, are now installed. So things like Google Analytics, uh, Superfish, Block Class, I don't think I need that one. So I didn't do them all. There were some that didn't have Drupal 9 versions, so I'm going to leave those behind. Obviously, we can't migrate into those. Okay, so yeah, so the second step, I guess, would be to include any modules that you hopefully can migrate data from. Not No guarantee this will work, and I think the, the fewer that you do, the better. So you will have to do some rebuilding of site um, functions. Okay, so that's our Drupal 7 site. That's our Drupal 9 site. We can go back to configuration, upgrade, I'll continue because we've already checked that. So our database host in this case will be database name, root, password, and the root for the document. And here's the point where I can't see me. Hit the uh, go button, which is behind my face. Uh, it's asking me to acknowledge that I may lose data, continue anyway. Well, I haven't got any data, so I'm okay with that. Okay, so this is a good sign because I wasn't getting this earlier. This is going to show me what is going to be upgraded. So 48 modules will be upgraded, 48 modules will not be upgraded. Uh, and there is a list of these. So such as capture, well, I'm not gonna get that. CK editor is now part of core, so we don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, so Google Analytics also isn't going to be much um, migrated. Okay, so lower down the page, put a list of all the modules that will be upgraded. Perform upgrade. Okay, so let's see what happens. I can always uh, trash the site and start again if it breaks, which is quite likely. Let's give it a go. While this is processing, I'll just quickly tell you about my new hosting service uh, that I've set up. It's at easydrupal.co.uk. I'll put a link down below. Uh, and basically it's Drupal hosting from 4.95 for the basic hosting or 14.95 for the hosting with support, which means that I'll do your upgrades for you and give you help with stuff. Uh, if you're interested in that, links below. Thanks very much, plug over. So that's the upgrade completed. I'm not really sure what's happened, but I've got some menu items here, which is a good sign. Um, let's have a look in our content. I don't. We have got some content. Wow, 
That is pretty impressive. Let's have a look at one of these. I don't suppose we've got any images. Okay, well, it's not perfect, but I've got some content across. Uh, I've got a working site, which is good. Let's see if there's anything else we can do. Okay, so I've been doing some messing around, just uh, installing some modules and, and trying to start to make the site look okay. Uh, I've decided at this stage not to attempt to import the images. Uh, I've got the content there. I could do it manually, uh, but as you can see, I've got, I don't know, four pages of content, none of which has got images. I can get the images, sorry, five pages of content, no images, um, and it's gonna be a bit of a pain to do that. So I'm gonna do that in the next episode. We're gonna write something to import those uh, from the existing site and basically just add them as images to each of these items. We can sort out the formatting and stuff like that later, but I think it's worth doing. Uh, it would take a long time to manually upload these. Okay, that's it for this episode and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.